Hi, my name is Matthias. I'm from Toontrack. And my name is Henrik, and I'm also from Toontrack. We're going to show you uh, some features of Superior 2.0, and it's uh, the new, new features, such as combined presets and stuff like that, and also the new libraries, uh, Alair and Hit Factory, which is actually one library, Volume 2, which is coming out at the end of March, uh, recorded in New York. Um, Right now you can see uh, Avatar on the screen, and uh, that's the core library of uh, Superior 2.0 for all, all, all the uh, users that have that. But we're not going to start there, we're going to actually change to a layer, and uh, that's where we're going to start to show you some stuff. And uh, the way we're going to do that is actually, uh, first of all, this is the default kit. I can play you just uh, the way it sounds when you load it up. Uh, I'm using MIDI from Easy Player Pro, and uh, the MIDI is played by Near C, and everybody that buys Superior 2.0 or the uh, SDXs, the expansion kits for Superior, will be able to uh, use this MIDI and do songs with it. A lot of useful MIDI. So this is the uh, default kit, but what we're going to start to do is to actually show you some presets that we have. As you can see here in the menu, you have the load save menu. You can go into uh, uh, combine presets menu where you have some already pre-done presets for you. So, for example, we can start with a Dorseman and Thrall preset. That's Neil Dorseman and Pat Thrall. They uh, did a bunch of presets for this. Same guy who recorded this. Yeah, yeah. Neil Dorseman recorded the library. And so, just to start with something, we can uh, do the Black View, the Big Room, for example. As you can see here, when we load a combined preset, you can select any of um, these choices here. Uh, either you choose everything, or you choose just one or, or the other of it. And uh, we're going to choose everything right now, just to uh, give you an idea. And uh, that's basically everything you can do in the software, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And. Uh, if you go into the mixer, you can actually see a lot of EQs, filters, compressors, bus sends, um, bleed on and off in different channels, volume changes in the bleeding. Um, it's, it's bust out some of it and it's going to the master output one and two. Um, there are some things that you can do uh, uh, with, if you like, for example, you like this uh, preset, but you want to change the drum kit. Uh, to something else. You can go in and, and uh, choose another preset. And let's say we're gonna choose something like the uh, the crunch loop, for example. So I wanna use I wanna use the mixture settings, but I wanna change uh, the drum kit and the pitch and the envelope only. Uh, so I'll do that. So all of a sudden you have a completely new. You have actually combined two presets into one, and you can now save this or do whatever you want to. Save it as a new preset. Yeah, save it as a new combined preset or as a project file. You have the project file down here and you can also load the project file as a combined preset. So that's up to you. Um, so that's a little bit about uh, combined presets. Okay, so now we're gonna show you how to actually build a preset or how to utilize all the functions in the program and then eventually save the preset. Um, we're gonna start with the, the default layer and then go on from there and try to do stuff for you so you can easily see what you can do. So I'm gonna start playing the same MIDI file as I did before. Um, so I think we're gonna just quickly go into the mixer and add some stuff. Uh, I think we're gonna use the M bullet because I think that's a really cool microphone, which is a small bullet mic. So I'm gonna turn on everything on this microphone. Um, you can actually mix the kit through that. Yeah, definitely. That mic alone. Yeah, exactly. So now let's listen to this mic here. Okay, so you can use this as a drum kit if you want. So if I wanna, for example, lower the ride now, I can do that here. It's like a small mixer. Yeah, it's a small mixer for each microphone for every drum in the microphone. Uh, so now this is here. What we're actually gonna do is, I'm gonna choose a uh, default bus routing from the mixer menu, mixer preset menu, which gonna, as you can see here, t 
turn every microphone into send it out to a bus here. Uh, and it's it's an easy way because then you have the kick and the snare and the hi hat and the toms and the overheads and the room just com combine in one place. So I have actually this is actually three kick mics coming through one. And if you want to change the level in between them, you can go over here and do more of the or one of or, of one or the other. It's a fast way to root out the drums. Yeah, exactly. The buses, it's, a, right? it's a good way to start. Okay. I mean, and as you can see here, you can name the buses. Uh, so these are names, so you can actually right away see where you are and what you want to do with it. Uh, so now we have the uh, M bullet here. It's going over here. Uh, but I'm gonna actually just create something with it. So I'm gonna start with a transient designer. Let's listen to it. Let's remove that tag. Like that. And let's add a compressor to it to even it out a little bit. Like that. And if you want to, you can use the presets from the compressor. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Uh, you have on each channel, like here for the kick drum, exam for example. As you can hear in the kick drum, by the way, you have no bleed. I mean, we can turn it off on if we want to, but in this particular case, I don't want to use any bleed in the kick drum. But you can do that in any any microphone. Uh, anyway, uh, you can go here in the preset menu and, and select pre-made presets for you. Okay. So I can, can go in here and say, okay, I want to try the hammer preset. Or maybe the thud, and as you can see, it changes compressor or whatever uh, effects this preset holds. Knock, so it sounds very different mm. between. So this is a good way to to start. Again, a fast way to yeah, exactly. move forward. Okay. So uh, this, I'm going to remove it, actually. 